This is Ogwin Valley in Snowdonia and for once when I was taking photographs the sun was actually out hence we've got some nice foreground shadows that sort of middle ground mountain sides in shadow as well and some nice lighter areas so before I start I'll just quickly go through the materials always in the same place we've got ultramarine lemon yellow Payne's Grey, Lizer and Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber and Light Red. They're all Cotman watercolours, squeezed out and allowed to dry on the palette. A bit of tissue there in case I need it, although I sometimes use it for clouds, but I might use the brush. Got me a water jar there with a nice lip on, just for taking the excess water off the hate brush. Brush is just down here, I'll probably do 90%, probably maybe 99% of the painting with this. A couple of smaller brushes down there if I ever need. Got my tea towel up there drying and this is 15 by 11. Um, this is the smooth, um, hot pressed paper, the smooth stuff. Just this basically down around a big, uh, big pad. It was just going cheap. It was half price in the shop. That's, uh, that's why I bought it. So one quick look again at the uh, photograph and I'll get cracking. So I'm going to start off as always with the big, the big height. This is the large, the, the, there is a bigger one you can get. This is 45mm, it's the width of this. You can get a 60mm one, which I, I have got, but I, I thought it was just a little bit too big for this sort of size. I was thinking of trying getting some bigger paper, maybe going for some real monster sized paintings. Um, I'll, I'll see, how I, see how I get. Maybe like a piece of paper that fills up this entire board. I'll have to see. See how I go with that. Um, that was raw sienna. This is. A bit of ultramarine, this is a bit of sky, you can only just see a little bit above the uh, mountain. And then the mountain, I'm just going to go raw sienna, a bit of burnt umber. Let me touch a lemon yellow in there as well. And the mountain is going sort of up there. Clean the brush, maybe get it a bit lighter. Somewhere, somewhere down, yeah, like that. I'll put some more shadows on later. For now, just just getting the sort of main, the main shape in for now. Just bringing that right down, just just to the. Uh, just to the foot of uh, this mountain and then we've got a nice sort of light light grassy area in there that's that in there okay. The path sort of comes around there like that, so I'm just pushing this up to the path. Just let that dry for a little bit. Um, a bit more of a path on this, a little bit more grass. Just on the side of the path. 
There will be a bit of shadow on top of this, so I don't worry about that for the time being. And then just up there, we have a little, a little tree. Scraping in with my finger now, just a little few twigs and branches. Oh, you. See how the paper stretched slightly? It's coming away from the board, so I'm just going to pull that tight, clip it against the board again. I just felt it slip out of this one then as I did it. Just do this one down here as well. You can stretch it before you start painting if you want, I'll just do it as I'm painting. So, give that a quick, very quick draw. So that, let's put the path in. I'm going to go with, I don't want too much water, I'm just taking the excess F on the uh, tea towel there, I'm going to go light red, ultramarine, and that sort of starts around there like that, and then it sweeps, sweeps around. And then just leave. See all these little breaks here. Just just adds to the character of the, uh, the path. Just try and get it in in one sweep if you can. It goes for most most of the wall colour. Just one stroke. Now let's put a bit of. I'm looking at this mountain area now. Now this bit. I'm just going to go burnt umber. Ultramarine, sort of grey colour. Normally I do all the shadows at the end, but I'm, not, I'm just going to try and do it bit by bit. I don't know how this is going to work out. Um, so now all of this, so all of this is in shadow, this area there, right down to these the foothills. I'm just going to. tops of these trees here are a bit lighter than that, you can just see the light catching the top of them, so what I might do is use, I think what I did forget to do, hang on, let's do it first, back to that mix again, that's sort of grey, and this sort of mountain there, there's a bit of shadow on there, that's sort of view around there. Top bit is in shadow. Down to there. A few bits scattered about. Oh, they're, they're doing two over the top. Right, as I was saying, this area here, there's a little bit of light catching the top. So, what I'm going to do is just clean the brush. So it's just damp. Let's see what this looks like now. If I just if I just remove some of the paint. I don't know if I how effective that's going to be. I 
so the light is this well. A bit more lively. I'll come back to that. Right, well, hang on. It's a bit shadowier, shadowier. Let's bring some darker bits, see if it makes it look any better. Nah, that, look, that looks more distant than it that looks as if it's on the map. I'm not going to worry about that from there. Right, let's, let's carry on with the rest of it. There we got. It's like a wall. Yeah, you've got like a, a wall. Yeah, sort of wall partly obscured by by bits of grass. Comes up there. There's that tree. Continues round there. So if I put that on first, and then if I put the, the grass on the top of that, lemon yellow, I'm taking a bit of raw sienna off there, all nice and sticky. And then it's just Little tufts of grass sticking up here and there. And what we have got is that. Did you pop this fencing? Switch to the uh, the flat brush, little flat brush here. I'm going burnt on back and a bit of the ultramarine. And then we got a. These parts of the fence. This fence goes all the way down there. Just want to hide the base now of this fence, so I'm just going back into that lemon yellow and just painting over the bits I don't like, basically. Bits of bits of wire running between the, the posts. and dabs growing in that field. Just strengthen that tree a little bit, I think. Oh, there's this, 
is the uh, his limbs. Right. I think what I'm going to do next is these shadows. So I'm going to clean the brush and I'm going to go back to this ultramarine burnt umber mix. So I'm going to burnt umber, ultramarine, this sort of grey shadowy mix. Need to make sure that's right. Right across. Uh, and oh, straight across there. And he just breaks up on this far side of the grass. Not bits and pieces. And dips and dabs over there. Right, put it to their view. walking off around the corner. So just a little, little dog following. And then there's a bit of shadow. You know, I think I think I'm gonna leave that one like that. So down there. Put my name in. I'm gonna call that one finished. So that's what it looks like with the um, the main top. <laughs> So here's our mounted final painting. So, see how it um, compares to the photograph. I've really tried to sort of focus on getting the, the shadows right. So as, I, as, I'm, as I'm looking at it, there's sort of predominantly two banks of shadows. You've got the mountains there in the background and we've got a sort of light area. And then these foreground shadows sweeping right across us. So that's what I've tried to replicate in the painting. You've got these I put, put all the mountain in shadow, a little bit of shadow on the uh, more distant mountain. Then you've got the lights there in the middle, and then these foreground shadows. And you see, just by breaking them up, just allowing the sort of lighter area in between, just helps with the effect. And then what I've done also. Without even realising, I've sort of I've lowered the level of this fence. 
So it's more sort of elevated up here, so it sort of brings us lower down. Whereas in the painting, we're sort of, we seem to be like higher up, looking at being a more sort of elevated position. Not that it makes any difference. I think apart from that, sort of compositionally, it's, it's uh, pretty much uh, the same as the photograph. And then the only other thing I've added is our little figure and his dog there in the shadow, just walking off round the corner, off into the valley. Well, that's my quick impression of um, Ogwin Valley in Snowdonia. Feel free to give it a go yourself. Um, thanks for watching, keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.